Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to go over how to sanity check our detections. So be before we do that, I do want to do one more thing. I do want to project the LiDAR points onto our image. So right here, we're just going to read in a new image. And basically, we're going to see that the LiDAR points line up exactly. So I think that's kind of cool. just wanted to show you how to do that. So, okay, well now on to the sanity checks. So as you can see right here, we have our Ego vehicle, and we have projected our depth information to camera two, and we want to just sanity check that our transformations are correct. So the, e the easy way to sanity check is just to look at what we have. We see 10, 36, 21, 22, 10, 17, and... I mean, I could agree. That. I don't. I don't know for sure, but this doesn't. This looks fairly reasonable. That's the pure and simple way. But another way to check is to check that our rotations are working well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our coordinates from the camera frame and we're going to rotate them to GPS IMU, and then we're going to sanity check the depth and see what they are. So you might have noticed we have distances between these two right here. So we're about 0.81 meters from the GPS to the LiDAR and about 0.27 meters from the LiDAR to the camera in depth. So that's about, so I have it's 1.08 meters. So if we take the depth from the camera and add 1.08 to it, we should be roughly at the GPS IMU depth if we've done our calculations and transformations correctly. So let's check this out real quick. So we have our IMU XYZ data. Now X is depth right here. And I'm also going to display our UVZ data. And this case in camera space, Z is depth. So right here we have our depths right here. We have 10.357 and this corresponds to 11.446 in IMU space. So right here we're going to just take our Z from camera space, add this 1.08 offset and subtract our IMU X depth on this and we're gonna see what this comes out to. And you can see this is all pretty low, it's all 0 0.009, 0 0.001, so they're fairly low. So we can, we can say that our rotations were accurate and we have uh, something that lines up with what we know that's, that's based on this drawing right here. So it's a quick way to check the depth. And another thing we could do is since we have already taken the time to convert to lat long altitude, we could actually draw our detected objects on a map and we can kind of see how this checks out. So we're gonna do that real quick. We're gonna use this library called Folium and we're gonna take this right here. And there's two quick, quick cells and bam. So right here we have basically Sounds about, looks about what we would expect. I don't know, I think these are a little bit off, but otherwise not, not too bad for a single frame too. So, all right, that's all for this video. I'll see you on the next one.